Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is another CSI UGC Net Mathematical Science problem June 2023. Uh, this is a problem of abstract algebra. Uh, which of the following statements are correct? See the options here. Option 1 says that if G is a group of order 2, 4, 4, then G contains a unique subgroup of order 27. So, see first option 1 that if G is a group of order uh, 2, 4, 4, then clearly 27 does not divide this 2, 4, 4 that is mod G. So, G does not have any subgroup of order 27 because if G has a subgroup say H of order 27 then we must have order of H divides order of G that is 27 should divide 2, 4, 4 by famous theorem Lagrange theorem. So, since 27 does not divide 2, 4, 4, G does not have any subgroup of order 27. So, option 1 is not correct option. Now, look at option 2. If G is a group of order 1, 6, 9, 4, then G contains a unique subgroup of order 1, 2, 1. For option 2, see here 1, 6, 9, 4 can be written as 11 square into 7 into 2. So, remind Silo's third theorem. So, Silo's third theorem says that the number of Silo 11 subgroup denoted by N11 is equal to 1 plus uh, 11k. Here k is any non-negative integer and this n11 should divide mod g that is 1, 6, 9, 4. That is actually uh, this n11 should divide this 11 square left this portion the remaining portion 7 into 2 so this should divide 14. So See, if k equal to 0, then n11 equal to 1 and clearly 1 divides mod g. So, this case can happen and if k equal to 1, then this n11 will be 12. It does not divide. It does not divide 14 and hence this does not divide mod g 1694. And Similarly, for any k greater than 0, n11 does not divide this mod g. So, the only option is k equal to 0 and n11 equal to 1. So, n11 equal to 1 means there the number of silo 11 subgroup is unique. So, say h is the that silo 11 subgroup h is that silo 11 subgroup of g and there is a result that if order of g equal to p to the power r into m where this p is prime and m is a positive integer and gcd and gcd pm equal to 1 then uh, H is a silo P subgroup if and only if order of H equal to P to the power R. So, here our P is 11 and R is our 2 and M is our 14. So, our silo 11, the order of silo 11 subgroup H, we say H is the silo 11 subgroup and order of H should be 11 square that is 121 and this subgroup is unique. And also we know that a subgroup is silo P subgroup if and only if it is, uh, sorry, uh, subgroup H is unique silo P subgroup 
if and only if it is normal subgroup and here this silo level subgroup is unique whose order is 121 so g has unique subgroup in fact normal subgroup unique subgroup of order 121 so option 2 is correct option now look at option 3 there exists a group of order 154 which contains a unique subgroup of order 7 so this is very clear that there is a result in cyclic group that if g is a cyclic group and m is any positive integer such that m divides order of g then there exists unique subgroup h of g such that order of h equal to m so just take this is for option 3 so take just g equal to any cyclic group actually there exist unique cyclic group of order 124 unique cyclic group of order n so we take and that is actually z154 so this is a cyclic group of order 154 and since 7 divides this uh, order of g so there exist unique subgroup h of g such that order of h equal to 7 so by this theorem the option 3 is correct option now look at option 4 there exists a group of order 121 which contains two subgroup of order 11 so clearly if we take uh, this is for option 4 this is for option 4 so if we by the above theorem if we take g is a cyclic group of order 122 uh, 121 that means actually g equal to z121 so g will be cyclic group and since 11 divides order of g there will be unique subgroup of order 11 so this g equal to z121 does not work for this option uh, and also this group is of order 11 square that means p square and we know that any group of order p square is available and also we can uh, find all the abelian groups of order like p square since there is a partition of 2, there are 2 partitions, 1 is 2 plus 0 and 1 plus 1 and the group corresponding to these partitions, abelian groups corresponding to these partitions are Z121 and corresponding to these partitions, the group will be, it is actually Z11 square. And another group is for this partition should be Z11, direct sum Z11. So probably this group will work because this group will have two subgroup or 11. See the element of this group is of the uh, of the form this A comma B. Actually we can say class A comma class B. This A B belongs to Z11 and C if we take an element 1 comma 0 actually class 1 class 0 we are not reading and writing class just instead just for simplicity write 1 0 so this element belongs to z11 direct sum z11 and this is very clear that order of this element is equal to 11 and so if we take the subgroup h1 generated by this one zero element this will be a cyclic subgroup of this group g equal to z11 direct sum z11 and order of h1 should be equal to 11 and also if we take this element 0 comma 1 that is also of order 11 and so we take h2 generated by this element so this is also a subgroup of g of order 11 and c if we take any other element say a which is not equal to 0 and say also not equal to 1 belongs to z11 
and consider the element a comma zero. So clearly, order of this element will be also equal to eleven because this J eleven is cyclic group. and all the non i non identity elements are the generator of this group so the order of those elements are equal to 11 that is same as the order of the group and also if we take the subgroup h generated by this element a comma 0 so this actually will give the same subgroup as h1 and similarly if we take any element b belongs to j11 which is not equal to 0 also not equal to 1 similarly if we take the subgroup k generated by this element 0 comma b we will get this actually equal to h2 just verify this, this is a simple exercise for you so the elements are of the form a comma b and all those subgroups of order 11 are one is h1 which is generated by 1 0 and other is 0 1 um, other is h2 which is generated by 0 1 and all those other subgroups of order 11 are will be same with either h1 or h2 so there are only two subgroups h1 and h2 of order 11 so if we take g as j11 direct sum j11 this abelian group then this g has two subgroups of order 11 so option 4 will be correct option so here option 1 is not correct option and option 2 3 4 are the correct options thanks for watching